Hello friends, today we uncover a mysterious Iranian bird secret. The Shaheen drone, the grandfather of modern UAVs, is rarely discussed. Its strange story and incredible capabilities changed the drone power path. Stay with me to the end to dig into every detail. Many think Iran's drone story starts only with Shahed or Mohajer, but the reality is Shaheen was flying way before all of them. This heavyweight drone was a serious effort for a tactical bird. Today we brush off the dust of history to see Shaheen. Let's go back years when aerial surveillance was desperately needed there. Back then, Iranian engineers at Hessa designed a specific new platform. The goal was a bird for reconnaissance and also target practice. Here, the Shaheen project was born, the cornerstone of this industry. Shaheen was actually developed in two main models, Shaheen 1 and Shaheen 2. With their classic look, they might seem a bit old-fashioned today. But back then, they were engineering masterpieces with significant payload capacity. Let's get technical and honest about the specs of this bird. Shaheen 1, the early version, had a relatively large cylindrical body. It was designed and built for low-depth tactical reconnaissance missions primarily. One cool feature was sending data back in real time while online. However, its range was limited and needed serious system upgrades soon. This need brought the advanced version, Shaheen 2, to the field. In Shaheen 2, the body became aerodynamic with more composite materials. These changes reduced weight and significantly increased its flight endurance time. Now we faced a bird that could patrol the sky longer. If we talk about the engine, it used a piston engine. These engines might be noisy, but they have power for payloads. Shaheen could carry and control heavy cameras right under its nose. Its speed wasn't super high, but it showed great flight stability. The launch system is one of the exciting parts to know. Due to its heavy weight, it needed a pneumatic or rocket rail, meaning it was shot from a stand like a missile accelerating. This let Shaheen fly from anywhere without needing a traditional runway. Now you ask, how did it land? Did it land safely? Yes, the recovery system was a mix of parachute and skids. When the mission ended, the engine cut and a big chute opened. This way, the bird sat gently on Earth, ready for next time. Mission-wise, Shaheen played a huge role in air defense training drills. Since its speed and size mimicked enemy fighters, it was a target. Defense systems locked onto it, simulating real-war scenarios effectively there. This means Shaheen sacrificed itself to guarantee the sky's safety fully. But it wasn't just practice. Shaheen had precise spy capabilities too. Cameras installed under this drone had 360-degree rotation and high zoom. It could penetrate 150 kilometers deep and transmit images back base. Back then, having such an eye in the sky was huge. A technical point engineers worked hard on was the navigation system. It used inertial guidance and later GPS for finding its path. The ground pilot could pre-program the route for fully automatic flight. This level of automation years ago shows high Iranian design knowledge. The maximum flight ceiling for Shaheen is estimated at 15,000 feet. This means the drone stayed safe from many light ground weapons. At this height, cameras gave a wide viewing angle to operators. Imagine the massive volume of data reaching command centers from above. Shaheen is the father of new drones, but differs from current gens. For instance, its body had a higher radar cross-section, not stealthy. But this simplicity and thickness made it resistant to physical damage. Repair and maintenance were also much simpler and cheaper than today. Over years, experience from Shaheen helped build the famous Mahajar drones. Many electronic systems tested on Shaheen were later seen on Mahajar 4. So we can say Shaheen was a flying lab opening the future. Without the courage to build Shaheen, technology might be years behind. Another interesting point is Shaheen could carry special payloads as well. Some sources say it was used for electronic warfare or pods. Its main job was recon, but the large platform allowed changes. This flexibility kept it in armed forces service for many years. To be honest, Shaheen isn't a frontline drone anymore in combat. Technology advanced, and birds like Kaman and Fotros replaced old models but target versions are still used in drills to test missiles. This shows a good design remains effective even after several decades. The takeoff weight was about 230 kilograms, 
a big number then. This included fuel, body, engine, and recon payload or electronics inside. Managing this weight with a piston engine needed precise wing design. The wing design ensured maximum lift generation for the heavy bird. Let's chat a bit about the ground control station, or GCS. Shaheen's control room was usually mounted on a tactical truck mobility. Two operators, one for flight, one for camera, handled the guidance. This coordination between pilot and cameraman was key to mission success. The cruise speed of this drone was about 120 to 140 kilometers per hour. This speed is ideal for patrolling as it allows precise imaging. If speed is too high, images blur and details get lost. So Shaheen's relative slowness was a big advantage for reconnaissance missions. Shaheen proved Iran can build heavy birds without any foreign dependency. This self-belief was perhaps the most important achievement for defense. Young engineers learned to combine aerodynamics, electronics, and mechanics together well. The result of this accumulated knowledge is Iran's drone superpower status. In various sources, Shaheen's name is sometimes confused with other projects. Note that Shaheen is an independent heavy drone, not a quadcopter. This bird is part of aviation history with a special place. It is a pity if such important technology gets lost in news. Today, we tried to give Shaheen its due with a look. We understood how it turned from a target to a spy, and we saw how native engineering overcame sanctions and war limitations. This story was a story of will and progress and hardship. In short, Shaheen was the first step reaching space and skies. Whenever you see a modern bird, remember Shaheen's DNA flows there. This drone, with all its simplicity, taught our aerospace industry lessons. I hope you enjoyed the technical and historical details of this veteran. Thanks a lot for sitting with me watching until this moment. If you like this technical video style, smash that like button. Subscribe to the channel, hit the bell for future video updates. Write in comments which scary drone file should we open next.